is suppose a person wants to approach through a, a, a path, undefined path, to this structure, there exists a point P. At that point, the, the person starts feeling. At that time, the person starts feeling, uh, at that point P, the person starts feeling a columbic force. Okay, and the person has to apply another work, another work just opposite to the work produced by the force of Coulomb, right? So this is the work, we call this as the external work, right? Just opposite to that. And then if this person wants to reach this point, the radius of this say is R, right? And R could be any distance, this point. And we say, if suppose, if someone is interested in finding, suppose this is 0 0.3, if someone is interested in finding the uh, potential Vp at r equals to 0 0.3, it should be q over 4 pi epsilon naught r, okay? And r is how much? R is 0 0.3. The, you can also calculate Vp at R equals to say one meter. That's again Q or four pi epsilon naught into one. Okay, so this is how you, you, you are going to calculate. And we also, we also plot the graph of this. We showed this graphically and we said, say, this is the distance R. This is the volt Vp. This is R equals to 0 0.3, right? The volt will share, stay maximum and constant for all the internal region. For all this internal region, okay? volt will stay this much and externally the volt will drop linearly okay this is the maximum possible uh, value and that value is this one okay what interestingly we found that if you if you take this positive charge this positive charge and and you move it inside no work is done if you move around this positive charge no work is done inside and what's the reason we call this as the equi potential surface and since there's no charge inside, there's no charge inside, so you don't need to do any work inside. Okay, so the potential throughout the structure will stay constant. Okay, so that we discussed last time. Okay, now today I want to extend this concept a little more. And I want to, I want to see I want to see the potential on such a such a rough structure. This one. See, it's not symmetric. The structure is not symmetric. And and again, if if I if I bring some positive charge here, the, the charge will evenly distribute itself throughout the surface. Okay? The charge will again evenly distribute throughout no matter no matter the surface is symmetrically spherical it's a very irregular surface but the charge will distribute itself very much regularly okay and there will be inside inside this inside this 
inside this we will call that equi potential inside the metallic this is this is filled metallic structure and inside this is equi potential and it's a conductor right and the electric field inside e inside is zero why because the work inside is zero which equals to minus q the path e dot dl okay so if i bring somehow i bring a positive charge here and i want to move it like this of course of course charge is not zero okay uh the dl is not zero so what makes everything what makes the work done inside zero this means the electric field inside is zero okay the electric field inside it is zero and this happens this happens this electric field inside zero happens for conductor okay in the presence in the presence of static charges on surface okay okay so 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 you need to you need to look at this result in two context one is if there is no current in conductor e inside is zero okay there is no current in the conductor the charge is not moving around okay and this is the condition of static charges and you call this as the electro static you call this uh, uh, situation phenomena is as the electrostatic electro static condition so in electrostatics in electrostatic uh, work done inside the conductor is zero so that means also means the electric field inside is zero that means this you don't need to do any work okay now okay uh, i will consider the image again right and as i said the charges will evenly distribute themselves throughout the structure and they will reside on the surfaces the charge will go to the surface thereby making e inside equals to zero okay so now this also means e outside is not zero okay so charges on surface are uniformly distributed charges on the surface are uniformly distributed okay e outside is not zero e outside is uniformly distributed it's a question mark okay what what do you think e e outside is uniformly distributed or non uniformly distributed what do you say charges are uniformly distributed e outside is uniformly distributed or non uniformly distributed so 
So this is a question. Okay. Uniformly or non uniformly. Okay, so we need to find this one. Okay. So uh so I again for this purpose let me consider let me consider this sphere okay this is sphere a sphere a let me consider another sphere a bigger sphere this is sphere b okay and, and let me connect the two spheres through a conductor okay this is a conductor this is a conductor and this one is conductor okay the radius of this is r a the radius of this is r b okay now the the, the two spheres uh the two spheres are and let me put q b charge here and let me put q a charge Okay, let me say R B is five times R A. Okay, let me say R B is five times R that of R A. Just for example, you can consider any other number or can take any other size, right? That and let me also say that of course Q B is bigger. So Q B is five times Q A. Just for example, okay. So because since Q B is bigger sphere, it can accommodate more charge. Last time I, I mentioned uh, every sphere will have a finite. Uh, if you remember, if you remember, I was talking about this thing that we. P equals to Q over four pi epsilon naught R. Do you remember this? And we said uh, from this equation, charge is Q. Sorry, charge is V P into four pi epsilon naught R. This is the equation. Okay. Uh, we also said last time, if you remember. Uh, charge is vp vp is e divided by how much is vp vp is how much e is volt divided by r so vp is ep into r so let me put the values ep into r 4 pi epsilon not r so charge is EP into R square four pi epsilon naught. This is the equation. And we said, if you, if you increase the charge, EP will rise. If you increase the charge, volt will rise. And this is a value three into 10 to the power six volts per meter. If E, E reaches this value. This is called as the electric electric break down of dry air. What what it means? If if charges further rise, if charge further rises, E will rise further. If E crosses this number, three million volts per meter. If it crosses, the charge will escape the structure. You remember this this thing. You remember this thing. Yes. So charge when, when you raise this charge, the E the electric field will raise. Right. When the electric field raises three million volts per meter, then the charge will simply skip the structure. Okay? 
there will be no more space for the charge. So if I say Q is 3.6 into 10 to the power, sorry, 3 into 10 to the power 6, R square into 4 pi epsilon naught, right? I have this equation. At this very moment, at this very moment, if you try to raise the charge, the charge will simply, will not be occupied. If you further raise the charge, the charge will simply escape from the structure. You will not be able to put more charge than this number. You will not be able to put more charge than this number on the structure. So I can, I can also call this as, uh, as the capacitance. So Q is, uh, if you say Q equals to CV, okay? So this very number for which the structure reaches, the electric field of the structure raises to a value of 3 million volts per meter, that's the capacitance of the structure. Because now the, cap the structure, the Van de Graaff doesn't have more capacity for more charges to be accumulated on the structure. And there will be, the structure will, will release those charges. If you try to bring more charges, then the cell will escape. It's called as capacitance, okay? And the phenomenon is called as electric breakdown. So every structure has a finite capacity to hold certain amount of charges, okay? So coming back to this, uh, we said I have a structure A, which is smaller, smaller radius, structure uh, sphere B, which is bigger radius, and I connected the two structures to a conductor, right? Uh, and I also said QA has some finite amount of charge, which can be accumulated here, okay? Structure B also has a finite amount of charge, but more than structure A, more charge than structure A. Okay, more charge than structure A. If you try to bring another charge here, that will come to this structure. Because QB has, is a bigger in size, it has more capacity to hold charges. Okay, so for example, I take the radius of B structure five times that of radius of A structure and radius of A uh, B uh, charges on B structure are five times more than charges of the A structure. Okay, now my question is, I have connected the two structures. I have connected the two structures to a metal. So what is VA and what is VB? VB is somewhere on this surface. VA is somewhere on this surface. So the is VA equal to VB? Are they equal? Are they equal? No, sir. No, they're not equal. The radius different. So charge ki value be different. No, look here, look here. We connect them through a conductor, look conductor. So we call this equipotential surfaces. So, so this is zero resistance. If R is zero, right? and you have electrostatic conditions. And electrostatic means what? Charges are not moving. So you call this as equipotential. On equipotential, equipotential surface, charges are not moving. There's no potential difference, okay? So if VA is same as this one, you have the equi potential surface, right? Which means no current because potential difference is zero. Okay, so there's no current. Sir, aapne potential, equipotential difference ye, is circle ke andar nahi ha. Wo to under hai hai. Wo to under hai hai. 
सरफेस पे सारे चार्जेस आ गए ना हमने क्या कहा हमने ये स्ट्रक्चर एज्यूम करना था दिस वन वेरी इेगुलर स्ट्रक्चर लेकिन इसको एज्यूम करने के लिए मैंने थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर कंसिडर किया है और मैंने कहा कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये रीजन ए है और ये सॉरी ये रीजन ए है और ये रीजन बी है ठीक है तो हमने कहा कि रीजन ए में और रीजन बी में इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी आउटसाइड क्या यूनिफॉर्म है या यूनिफॉर्म नहीं है ठीक है ये हम डेवलप ये कॉन्सेप्ट डेवलप करना चाहते तो हमारी हमारी क्या थी रिक्वायरमेंट क्या थी कि हमने अपने स्ट्रक्चर को दो हिस्सों में डिवाइड किया एक ए साइड दूसरा बी साइड तो हमने कहा कि क्या आउटसाइड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कांस्टेंट सेम है या नॉन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म है राइट right? तो हमने ये डेवलप करना था उसके लिए हमने बजाय स्ट्रक्चर्स को विच लुक्स अ लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आई टुक टू स्वेयर एंड आई कोनेक्ट द टू स्वेयर टू अ मेटल थ्रू एन इक्वेट पोटेंशियल सरफेस विच मीन्स द पोटेंशियल एट दिस पॉइंट इज सेम एज पोटेंशियल एट दिस पॉइंट so if we a is same as vb there is no current charge will not move around baat ki samajh aa rahi hai achcha agar v a aur v b mein difference hai if there is a difference between v a and v v b then charges will move around but if there is no difference they are the same potential okay to phir charges kya honge तो फिर क्या होगा देखिए ये आई एम गोइंग फॉर दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर राइट राइट फॉर दिस येलो सॉर्ट ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो व्हेन यू कनेक्ट देम थ्रू अ मेटल एंड से द मेटल इज एन इक्वल पोटेंशियल सरफेस से द रेजिस्टेंस इज जीरो द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज जीरो नो करंट विल फ्लो ओके सो <coughs> so what is va va is qa divided by 4 pi epsilon not ra okay yes sir okay uh and what is vb uh, qb divided by 4 yeah. pi epsilon qb not divided r. by epsilon not r b we have this equation now yeah is this understood ji yes, sir now look here uh what is qb what is qb five times qa sir yeah qa divided by 4 pi epsilon not ra and what is qb Five times. R. Acha full R. Five times Q A divided by four pi epsilon naught. Five times R B. Is this okay? No, sir. R A. Five times R sir, A. A. Now, now this is the equation. And what what about? uh what about the electric field let's see the electric field that was the voltage yeah that was the voltage so let let's try to transform this into the electric field okay QA divided by four pi epsilon naught, and this one is R. If I make it R A squared, right? And QB divided by four pi epsilon naught, and I make this as R B squared. Yeah. This is in terms of electric field intensity. Okay, because E. is q over 4 pi epsilon not r square yeah and v is q over 4 pi epsilon not r you remember these two equations okay from these two we say that um e is v divided by r 
okay v divided by r now if you try to resolve these two equations uh let let, let i say q a divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r a okay okay equals to q b Q, QB, by the way, is how much? 5 QA divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. And what is RB? It is 5 times RA square. Yeah? What is the matter? Yes, yes. If if I write this 5 QA divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, 5 dot 5 R A square. Can I write this one this way? Is this okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So what, what this equation? What this equation means? Look, this five goes away with this five. Okay, it's one of the five. What you left with? What you left with is one over Q A or four pi epsilon naught one over five R A square. So it means one over five, one over five, one over five Q A divided by four pi epsilon naught R A. Can you see that? Right, this is also R A square, okay? R A square. Is this clear? Yes, sir. So this implies that the electric field of region A, the electric field of region A is one over five times the electric field of region B. Right? Sorry, this means this one this equation is one over five times of region. Ye kya hai ye wala? Ye wala asal mein kya hai? Electric field of region B. This is the electric field of region B. This is the electric field of region A. Kya maare pas ye chiz aar No? No? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. If, 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 uh, all these derivations are in the video recording. So you can consult the video lecture for the whatever I have removed. Okay. So you, you, you can also, uh, you can also go for another sort of description, right? Uh, if, if I try to copy this one, Place it here. Okay. Now, again, j just I want to repeat everything, right? V A is equals to V B, which means Q A is divided by four pi epsilon naught. R equals to Q B divided by four pi epsilon naught R B. Is this okay? Fair enough. Okay. Now, do you remember what was the surface rho S? Rho S was what? Surface charge density, okay? 
sorry okay i guess i shall i shall keep both the derivation for you for your record <clears throat> 